Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my Facebook friends. It is dinner time and I decided I would bring you guys to my kitchen again. Let me share to some groups. And while I'm sharing, if you wanna share this with some of your friends, by all means, hit the share button, spread the love. We are making a recipe that I have never tried. We are using a product that I have never used. So this is definitely going to be some entertainment at its finest. So I hope y'all are ready to have some fun with me. Hold on, let me just share to a couple more of my parties so nobody misses out. I'm missing one that I just started today. I've got to um, find a little bit better way to do some of this sharing into groups, but it's okay. The one that I'm looking for, let me see if I can find it real quick. I hope everybody has had, oh, there it is. Um, okay, I think I shared in each of the groups I wanted to. Feel free to share this as well if you would like. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Amy, hey, Deborah, hey, Heather, hey, Kelsey. Um, I have put the link to this recipe at the top. There are a couple things that I'm altering. Hey, Erin, and again, we are using our new 12 inch cast iron skillet. Let me just put this disclaimer out there. I am not originally from the South. I have never cooked in cast iron, which means I also have never used our brand new Pamper Chef cast iron, but we are tonight. Always remember I am pampered, not perfect, so if this doesn't work out, we have some leftovers in the refrigerator and we'll just figure it out. But um, the recipe looks great. I have changed it up slightly because I am notorious for that. Hey Lisa, welcome in. I think it's gonna be great. All I have done so far is brown some Italian ground sausage, and I did that in the cast iron skillet, but we're going to go ahead and start some boneless, skinless chicken tenders. The recipe is called chicken sausage with peppers. So you technically would use like the lengths of chicken sausage and slice that with the quick slice and put that in the cast iron. But I'm using what I had, which was some Italian sausage and some chicken tenders. I have just seasoned this with Italian seasoning, and I've got a little bit of butter melting in my cast iron skillet, so that's what we're gonna start with. While the chicken sautés, you guys are gonna help me get the vegetables ready. Um, this is gonna be a little tricky because I do have to go over to my stovetop, so I'm going to take y'all with me. The angle may not be the best, but hopefully you can see. Hey, Grace, I loved your um, video that you and your mother did showing how to use the pantry items. Y'all made me smile. I absolutely love that, so y'all need to keep doing that. I need to share that because we have a lot of people getting stuff from um, the food pantries here. Okay, so let me show y'all what I'm doing, and this really is going to be a little bit tricky, but and I'm not going to pick it up because it's hot, but I have our brand new 12 inch cast iron skillet. Actually, I'll kind of pick it up using the baby shark mitts. So you can see I had browned the sausage already. So there's a little bit of some of the sausage in the bottom and I'm using some Kerrygold butter. I am going to use the splatter screen because as this chicken sautés, I don't want a humongous mess on my stove top. This is about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken tenders. Again, I don't even know if this is gonna work in here because I've never used cast iron. So if I'm about to create a big old mess, someone let me know. But otherwise, we're gonna go with it and we're gonna try to do this chicken in here. Hey, Kathy, hey, Sharon. I hope everybody's having a great Thursday. It is getting close to dinner time. So I wanted to bring you guys live with me. Feel free to share. This is probably gonna be extremely entertaining because number one, I've never made this recipe. Number two, I have 
never cooked in cast iron of any kind. Pampered Chef or any. I'm not originally from the South. Number three, I'm not even exactly following the recipe. I have altered it a little. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this saute and we're gonna go over here and work on our veggies. Sorry if that just made y'all nauseous. All right, give me some hearts if y'all can see because I'm having a hard time knowing where my camera needs to be to make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the recipe does call for onion, bell pepper, zucchini, and then of course some garlic. Everything's better with garlic. It calls for dried oregano, salt, and red pepper flakes. We're just gonna use Italian seasoning and that should work. Um, so I've already rinsed off all my veggies. I am using red, yellow, orange, and green. And then we have one zucchini and a small onion. I chose to go with a pretty small onion because my kids are not super big fans of onion. I don't even know if they're gonna like this recipe, but they're gonna eat it. So we are going to prep our bell peppers. Whenever I cook with bell peppers, I always use the top and everything. Just cut out the little core. I'm looking for my little gadget that's helpful is the scoop loop to go in here and seed your bell, bell pepper. I do have my trash can sitting right here, so we're just gonna dump the rest of the seeds into the trash, and we'll scrape out any little stuff that we don't want. And I'm gonna prep all of the bell peppers and then we'll slice them. How is everybody's Thursday? That's what day it is, correct? How is everybody's Thursday going? Oh, actually, I need to slice those too. Are y'all having a good day? What are y'all having for dinner? Hey, Mary, hey, Tammy. When you're hopping on, share with us what you're having for dinner or if you already ate, what did you have? Did anyone do anything fun today during this social distancing? I really don't like that word, social distancing. I think it should just be um, creative socialization via social media or something like that. Taco salad, oh, that sounds good. Hey, Rita, your party is going great, by the way. Thank you, thank you. All right, so all I'm doing, I use the scoop loop. It's serrated, and I use that to dig out, what'd you say, Erin? Oh, roast chicken, ooh. Did you do it in the air fryer? Um, I'm just using it to scrape out kind of the inside part. This scoop loop is great if you wanted to do stuffed bell peppers, because look how clean it got my bell pepper. It's serrated on both of the little sides and the bigger side. Okay, we're gonna do the orange. I might need to be flipping my chicken in a second. I don't have the temperature very high. Okay, and let me show you what I'm doing. Some of these are not, the little stem isn't popping out, so I just cut the rest of that bell pepper because I'm gonna use that. I don't wanna waste any of the bell pepper. Um, did you use the air fryer? Taco, another person having taco salad. Y'all were supposed to do that on Tuesday for Taco Tuesday. I'm just kidding, you can have tacos any day. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're gonna slice each of these bell peppers just in half, one big half, and I'm going to go flip our chicken real quick. Hey, Amber, we are making chicken sausage peppers. I have um, put the recipe in the top of this description so when you're done watching, you can go and see the recipe. Yes, the scooper is great, Kathy. Okay, hang on, let me go flip our chicken real quick so it cooks evenly, I'll be right back. While I'm doing that, y'all continue to tell me what you're having for dinner or what you had. Oh, this is looking pretty good. Hey, Erin, it's not sticking, so you were right. Sorry, I don't want to move y'all back and forth all the time. I'll move you back when I get ready to do the veggies. Just because I don't want to make anyone sick tonight. But the chicken, I must say, is looking pretty good and smelling even better. Okay, so back to our veggies. I'm gonna use the stainless bowl to put them all in. We used the stainless bowl last night when we made the 
chicken enchilada ring. We're using it again tonight. And my favorite, favorite knife, the five inch Santuco. Hey, Debbie. Um, Debbie, we are making chicken sausage with peppers only. I altered it a little. Instead of chicken sausage, I used Italian um, turkey sausage and I'm using just boneless, skinless chicken tenders because that's what I had on hand. Uh, but I think it's still gonna be great. I am cooking it in the brand new cast iron skillet, which I have never cooked in cast iron. Like not meaning this cast iron, but any. I'm not from the South, so I've never had cast iron. Greek chicken for dinner. Ooh, Rebecca, that sounds good. Hey, Tammy Baxter. I'm the other end of my counter tonight. I'm kind of in the middle tonight, but then I also go over to the other side. Okay. Um, squirrel, of course, again. I'm going to use the quick slice. A must have, must have if y'all don't have it. Because look at all these bell peppers that we need to slice up. And we're doing them kind of like fajita style bell peppers. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put the bell pepper on here. I like to do bell peppers face up. You're also going to see me do the zucchini in a minute. So it's seeded and ready to go. I put it face up and I kind of hold it just to get it into the blades and then hold on to the sides, wiggle back and forth and look at that bell pepper. Beautiful, all perfectly even slices and really, really quick. Did you guys get outside and walk today or do anything fun? Yesterday, at my main project was cleaning out my office. That was very exciting. I have done Pampered Chef for 14 years, and that is probably the second time I've done a really, really deep clean of my office. This is gonna be a ton of peppers, that's okay. It's probably only the second time I've done that deep of a clean of my office, so. Let me just say, garbage pickups tomorrow, and that's a good thing. Hey, Tiffany Crocker. Hey, Lisa. Garlic, chicken, and roasted potatoes. That sounds good. You know what I almost made, and I'll make this maybe one day next week. I have a great recipe that's called um, roasted chicken and asparagus in, I think it's pan sauce. It is done in our 12-inch stainless nonstick skillet. And if I do it, I might try to do it in this cast iron because oh, run away because currently that particular piece of cookware is on stock sell. We don't have enough inventory of it, so it's on stock sell. So I don't want to use something that you guys don't have access to. All right, all I'm doing now are just the little pieces, putting those in there. All right, and now we're going to do our zucchini. And what I want y'all, hey Debbie Nelson. Oh, rode your gator in the woods. Okay, I need to send, well, I can't send my boys over to hang with you because, you know, we're social distancing, but that sounds really fun. They would love that. Hey, April. Hey, Susan. Okay, so imagine you're making a chopped salad and you need to slice cucumbers. You wanted some bell pepper, um, also some tomato like we did yesterday, some avocado. We could do that on the quick slice. So many things you could use this quick slice for. So we're gonna do zucchini, but you could do a cucumber the exact same way for a salad. What we're going to do, chop off both ends. I'm going to cut it in half because it needs to be able to physically fit on the quick slice. And then I like to slice in half again, and then in half again. So I basically did you know little quarters. For this, I do it face down so it's stable push into the base, and then look at all my little zucchini pieces. Super quick, big time saver. That's a lot of why, hey, Cindy, or Candy Miller. Sorry, I can't read from further back. Um, that's a big reason that I am gonna start going live for you guys, is to show you how quick you can make dinner. It can still be healthy, but it can be quick as well, if you have the right tools. All right, so we're gonna do, and we may not put all these in the, I don't know, maybe we will. Okay, so there's our zucchini. So we have an entire bowl of, look at all these beautiful vegetables. That did not take me very long to saute. 
I mean, saute, to cut. Okay, now what we're gonna do, no judging. I eat keto, so I use southern juice to flavor a lot of my vegetables. Another name for southern juice is bacon grease. Yes, I store this in my refrigerator. Don't judge me if this isn't healthy. Mm, don't tell me that because I've been doing it for 18 months and I'm still here. Um, so there's that. I do keep it in the refrigerator. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to warm this up because I need to drizzle it over here. So hang tight, plus I'm gonna um, move our chicken around. wash my hands before I got started, just so you know. I always wash my hands before I get started. Alright, let me show you. I am going to take you to see the chicken. Okay, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. Okay, can y'all see that? Ooh, looking pretty good. Alright, we are just going to it may be, I actually think it's pretty close to being done. Let me turn the heat down. Oh gosh, guys, this smells so good. No idea if I'm doing this right or not, but it sure does smell good. Okay, I'm going to flip it and let it go just a little bit longer. And I'm actually going to wash my batter bowl. Y'all, these little baby shark mitts are probably my favorite. Okay. I'm bringing it back over here so we can finish prepping our veggies. I need to mark my, um, <laughs> oh, I almost dropped my tripod. I need to mark where to put the camera. All right, let me wash this real quick because I'm going to put the cooked chicken back in my batter bowl and it had raw chicken so don't mind me while I wash this tonight I purposefully I hope y'all can hear me tonight I purposefully did not prep much because I wanted you to see dinner start to finish So yeah, I wanted you to see dinner start to finish. Hey Sherry, hey Wendy. We are making, if you're just hopping on, we're making chicken sausage with peppers. Oh, I need to cut up my onion. Whoops. We'll do that as well. Okay, let me get my southern juice out of the microwave. Hold on one second. All right, so here's the southern juice and here's what we're gonna do. We put it all over the veggies. Let me get my other set of chef's tongs. I am also going to put about a tablespoon or so of Italian seasoning. Hey, Wendy Weston. Hey, you need to be uh, shopping and picking out your free goodies. Okay, and I also need a little bit of salt. Y'all give me some hearts if you're enjoying this. Hey, Caitlin. And if I continue to do Facebook Lives, they are going to be just as crazy like this. So, if you don't like it, y'all need to be honest and private message me because I don't want to keep doing these if it's going to um, make it where people don't like what I'm doing. I want to provide entertainment. All right, a little bit more salt. All right, so we have our southern juice. And I poured that on before the seasoning because I want the seasoning to stick to the vegetables. We do need to prep our onion. I should have done that a minute ago. Um, let me give you a little tip. If you are not going to use the entire onion, don't cut off the root end. Instead, cut from the other end, leave the root intact, and the part you haven't used, put it in a Ziploc bag. Leaving that root intact will keep your leftover onion um, fresh a little bit longer. 
Oh, okay, Wendy. Yes, that's a great idea. Be watching me for a few days and it'll help give you ideas of what you might want for your kitchen. Hey, Jillian, if you, you just message me and I will look at that as soon as I get off of here. All right, so I am just going to, I'm not gonna use the quick slice on the onion because technically it doesn't really um, allow for that because it's too dense. So all I'm gonna do is just do kind of, I really could have gotten out my um, veg, apple wedger and use that. But I'm just gonna do kind of some big slices and then separate it. And I'm adding that to this mixture. All right, I'm gonna rinse my hands. The other thing we're gonna do is add a couple cloves of garlic to this. So, let me get my garlic. In case y'all didn't know, when you have fresh garlic, you want to store it in your spice drawer or in a cabinet. Do not store it in the refrigerator because it will go bad quicker. Oh, thanks for the onion tip, you're welcome. Um, also, another onion tip or a garlic tip, if you get onion or garlic on your hands and you can't stand that smell, if your sink is stainless, rub your hands on the stainless sink it will take the smell out or grab a spoon out of your silverware tray if you don't have a stainless sink anything stainless will take the smell of the garlic and onion off your hands just in case you needed to know that all right so there were ooh, there was some extra garlic there were two that was really like two and a half cloves of garlic okay we're gonna Go over here, and from now on, we gotta stay over here for a minute. This is where it won't be as easy to see what I'm doing, but we're gonna make it work. All right, so I'm going to take our chicken out and just add it to the batter bowl. And I don't need the splatter screen anymore, I don't think. So I'm just going to add my chicken to the batter bowl. I am going to use the salad choppers to chop it up. In just a second because I don't want it to be this big. I'm just worried I have too much vegetable but maybe not. I have too many things going on. Hey Jennifer! Hey guys if you're just hopping on feel free to share this video out. Okay so now what we're going to do is add our peppers and onion and zucchini. Yes yeah, so I think this is going to be a good bit for this skillet but it's all right I may not add all of it I might do another little bit later what do y'all think will it cook down should I do all of it or is it gonna be too full yes Susan this is the new 12 inch cast iron skillet from pampered chef and at the beginning of the video I let everyone know I have never cooked in cast iron like ever because I'm not originally from the south and I've all, since I've never cooked in cast iron, I've obviously never used the Pampered Chef cast iron skillet, but we're figuring it out. Okay, so we're gonna let those kind of saute. Maybe I should have left the, um, the splatter screen on, but I think it'll be okay. I really don't like the angle of this because y'all cannot see me, like it chops me off. That's okay. We're gonna let that saute and we're gonna um, shred a block Let's do that. Let's raise it. We're going to shred a block of mozzarella cheese. So, I used the coarse grater yesterday. We're going to use it again. This is going to be a little backwards. Maybe that's better. Y'all don't have to watch the skillet the whole time. This is going to be the tricky thing. If I'm ever doing recipes that call for using my stove top, this is going to be the tricky part. Because there's not a good angle for it. I also need to go ahead and cut up the um, chicken, and let me do that while it's still warm. You want to make sure and use your salad choppers on the chicken. It will save you tons and tons of time. So all I'm going to do is 
Go in here and chop it up to make it bite size. And if you want, you can even hold the salad choppers this way. Hey, Taylor. Oh, Taylor, that is a loaded question. Um, first of all, you need to be having a virtual party to fill that new kitchen. Just saying. And uh, by the way, Taylor is in the Air Force. Thank you for our service. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Hey, Andrea Baldwin. Um, the must-haves for a new kitchen. Well, of course, these salad choppers that I'm using. You know I'm going to say a rock crop. And honestly, our new air fryer. Absolutely cannot live without the air fryer. So those are kind of the top ones, but I mean, I could give you an entire list of other stuff. Okay, so here's my chopped up chicken. And then we need to shred our cheese. Are y'all enjoying this or is it way too scattered tonight? Since I'm doing a brand new recipe that I've never done. I don't wanna be super scattered, but also this is me. What are the benefits of cast iron? Kathy, I'll have to get back to you because I'm going to be honest, I have no idea because this is the first time I've ever used it in my life. If some of you watching have used cast iron, maybe you have your grandmother's cast iron or your great grandmother's, can you type in the comments some of the benefits? You guys can teach me just as much as I can teach you. I do know that our cast iron, we have two cast iron skillets we have a 10 inch and this is the 12 inch you can buy them individually or as a set if you buy them as a set you save $21 but they come pre-seasoned so they already have been oiled um, when you first get it you just wash it with some hot water just like our stoneware it comes with one of the brown scrapers I had mine sitting here a minute ago here it is hold on it comes with one of the little brown scrapers so you care for it just like you would our stoneware, but they do come pre-seasoned, just so you know. So all I did earlier today is I took this out of the box and I washed it with some hot water and I dried it, and that's all I've done so far. All right, so we're gonna let those, I've got both of my tongs going. We're gonna let that sit and continue sauteing or softening while we get our cheese ready. And what we're going to do, we're going to put our chicken back in here. We're going to put our sausage back in here. Um, and then some, I'm using Rayo's margarita sauce. Hey, Christy. Cast iron cooks more evenly and is easier to keep clean. Oh, okay. Good to know. I know right now it smells delicious in here and I'm liking how it's cooking. How much is the new air fryer? The air fryer is, you can get what comes with it, which is two racks, the rotating rotisserie basket, um, it is $279, or this month you can get it 50% off if you just collect $200 or more in orders. Um, there are, there also is an air fryer like meal set that then comes with a couple other things, but the air fryer, I use it almost every day. This honestly is one of the first meals this week that I haven't used it. Um, I made a roast the other night and I did my vegetables in the air fryer. Last night I didn't use it since we did the chicken enchilada ring, but oh my gosh, I use my air fryer all the time. Originally tonight I was gonna use this chicken to make um, keto friendly chicken tenders and I was gonna do them in the air fryer. So I do love, love, love the air fryer. But I'm trying to change it up, show y'all some different things. I'll do something with the air fryer. The only thing is once you prep whatever and put it in, there's nothing for y'all to see because it's inside the air fryer, just letting the air fryer do the work. So, all right, I am going to turn on my broiler because once we add the meat back in and we add the cheese on top and the sauce, we're going to put this in the oven just long enough to melt the cheese. For any of you hopping on, we are making chicken sausage and peppers, although I've altered the recipe a little. So if you're just hopping on or you're watching, um, I mean, you're just hopping on midway through when we're done, go back and watch from the beginning and you'll see what I altered. 
But right now in the 12 inch skillet, we've got our onions and peppers and zucchini sauteing. And I think it's almost, so you don't really have to cook it too terribly long. You just want them to soften a little. So um, let's play a little game. What is everybody's favorite Pampered Chef product? So not really a game. Let's just share with everybody. What is something that you can't live without, you absolutely love? Um, doesn't have to be anything I've used tonight. Feel like we're kind of at a cooking party. Let's act like this is a cooking party and kind of go around the room. Hey, Jane, go around the room and share with everybody your favorite Pampered Chef products that you can't live without. I've already shared some of mine. Stoneware, Rita, what is your favorite piece of stoneware? Hey, Tracy. All right, so Rita's favorite thing is stoneware. The mix and chop and can opener, yes. The mix and chop I actually used to do our sausage. I didn't even show that to y'all. Here's our Italian sausage that I browned in the cast iron skillet before we got started. So that was super easy. Hey, Heather, cheese grater, yay. How many of y'all, okay. Give, put a number three in the comment if you grate your own cheese and don't buy pre-shredded cheese. Cast iron adds natural iron to your food. Oh, I had no idea. That's very good. Christy, you are full of good info. Continue sharing because I need to know. Um, Lisa, garlic press. Yay, love the garlic press. I use it for every meal I cook except for sweets. I love the cookware. I got it a few years ago. Yes, love the cookware. This um, cast iron is considered part of our cookware line. Just came out March 1st, and I will say, so far, I'm loving it. This is the first time I've used it. Oh, I love all the people that shred their own cheese. We are putting in number three in the comments if we shred our own cheese. And if you shred your own cheese, that means you don't eat wood fiber. Hey, Tina. Hey, Julie. How is everyone doing tonight? Facebook needs to figure out smell vision because y'all need to smell these peppers. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Crystal, have you used your cast iron yet? Oh, runaway zucchini. Oh my gosh, y'all, this smells amazing. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna add back our chicken and I actually may not add, I say I may not add all this meat, but you know, I do have three boys in this family. So they will probably eat a ton of this. Okay, we're gonna add the sausage. For those just joining, I've never made this recipe and never used cast iron until tonight. You shred your own cheese, Debbie. Yes, that's because you're smart. And if you don't shred your own cheese, it's not the end of the world. You're just getting a little extra fiber. Y'all, this looks amazing I must say I'm not worried if I have a little of this chicken left because guess what I and I actually am gonna save this because I can use that for salad for um, the rest of the week well actually not tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday and I can't have meat so I will have a big old salad on Friday all right so I'm gonna turn off, ooh, turn off the heat, and what we're going to do, I am using, Amber, I just got your text. If you're watching, I'll send you that when I get off. Um, I am using, this is gonna be backwards, but Rayo's Margarita Pizza Sauce. This is my go-to. <laughs> Lisa, you can smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Shred cheese, and yes, I have. Oh, skillet cookie. Oh. Can't wait to get my brownie pan to make keto desserts. Yes, Denise, there is a really good um, keto cheesecake recipe that I do in the brownie pan. You can do one batch of it, it'll do six little mini um, cheesecakes, or you can double it and do 12. Okay, back to the sauce. I use Rayo's, and my favorite one is the margarita pizza sauce. Even though it's a littler jar, this one just has the most flavor to me. I do also have a bigger jar of marinara, 
but um, I wanted this to have lots of good flavor. So we're going to use the margarita sauce. Hey, Kristen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If y'all are just joining in, um, you'll have to go back at the beginning and watch from the beginning when we're done. But we are making chicken sausage and peppers. Only we altered it a little bit because I did a, t Ooh, I need a smaller scraper that didn't work. Um, I altered it a little because I used um, Italian sausage that was kind of, you know, browned it like ground beef. And then I also used boneless, skinless chicken tenders. Okay, so I'm going to stir in the sauce. And I got two jars out in case I think I need more, but I may only need one. This is completely just winging this recipe. Oh as I make a big old mess letting it all come out. I will tell you this, the 12 inch cast iron skillet holds a lot of food because this is a ton of peppers, about a pound and a half of chicken and a pound of sausage. So we will have plenty for the four of us. Mackenzie is staying in Auburn to help at the barn she works at because the horses have to be fed so she is staying there. All right, I think that's probably enough sauce. What do y'all think? I think it's enough. Okay, now we are going to add all of our fresh cheese. Show us the food again. Oh, sorry. Yeah, y'all can't see it. Wait a minute. Oh, I can't see when I'm... Can y'all see it there? There we go. I'm making y'all sick. All right, there's the food. I forgot because when it was just sauteing... Okay, so I'll leave you there. Give me some thumbs up if you can see the skillet. It's hard because I can't. I'm just challenged altogether. Those of you that know me, that is no surprise. But that's okay. We are in a different time right now, so we are just making do. I really prefer to be able to do a cooking show in person so I can see y'all laughing at me, but that's okay. This will work. All right, so we're putting all of our cheese on top. Can y'all see it? Yay. It does look good. It smells good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in my oven on broil just long enough to let all that cheese melt. I'm going to use the little Baby Shark oven mitts, and there's two handles on here, and I'm just going to put it on broil probably, hmm, if I had to guess, it's probably going to take about seven to 10 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer for seven minutes. Um, so it won't be too, oh, don't put your little things on the hot eye. That would not be good. Um, so it won't take too terribly long. Bring you back over here so I can see the comments easier. Um, I will take a picture of it when it is done. I know that this was a crazy crazy video definitely not my smoothest of Facebook lives but I wanted to come live doing a recipe I've never done so that y'all can see trying a new recipe doesn't have to be scary doesn't have to be complicated um, anybody can do it not only was it a new recipe but I've never used cast iron before so that was new to me I also altered the recipe um, that took I don't know how long have we been on can anyone tell me how long we've been on maybe 40 minutes 30 minutes so dinner still prepared in under an hour crazy is the best sometimes yeah especially these days right um, I think it is going to be delicious my boys are not humongous bell pepper fans but uh, they do eat the fajitas when I make them, so I think they will probably like this. We do also have some leftovers, so if they don't love it and they're not full, there's other stuff here they can eat, and that just means more leftovers this weekend for Chris and myself. 38 minutes. Okay, so guys, that was me talking to y'all, um, being very distracted, being a little discombobulated. 38 minutes, and dinner now has five more minutes in the oven, so under an hour that that kind of meal will get put on the table. If you didn't think that was gonna be enough, you could always make a real simple salad to go with it. Um, I do think this will be one of those meals that's gonna be as good left over as it is the first time we eat it. That's what I always think about lasagna. That's what I think about the chicken fajitas, the rush hour fajitas. 
So anyway, I hope you guys have liked tonight's dinner. If you are enjoying me doing dinner, then um, what can we do? Put a smiley face emoji in the comments. And if I get enough, then I will go live again soon. I probably won't do it every single night, but maybe a couple times a week I can go live so you can see what I'm making for dinner, whether it's a new recipe, an old recipe, something super quick, not so quick, all that kind of stuff. If you have just hopped on and you missed from the beginning, as soon as this ends, you can watch from the beginning, but we made chicken sausage and peppers in the cast iron skillet. And, um, I posted the recipe. It'll be up above in the description. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Maybe I gave some helpful tips. Maybe I put a smile on your face. You guys are putting a smile on my face because I feel like I am talking to some people even though I kind of am not talking to people. I will go back and scroll through any of the comments that I missed. So if I didn't see something that you asked or you commented on, I apologize. Um, Sometimes it's hard, it's delayed and all that, but so far I'm enjoying doing this and if it provides any value for you, then it at least makes my day a little brighter. I will post a picture of the finished recipe um, when I am done. It's got about three more minutes. Let me make sure it's not burning. Oh, actually I think it's done. Hold on. Hold on, hold please. And then you'll get to see it. O-M. Okay, so it had three more minutes. So that was only four minutes, y'all. The other thing I think I'm gonna do is shred some Parmesan cheese on top, put OMG. If that doesn't look good, I can't help y'all because it smells delicious. If you've got a larger family, it made plenty. Let me set it down because it's heavy. It made plenty. It was not super expensive. It was, I chose to do four bell peppers because I had a pack of three colored and then I did a green. Four bell peppers, an onion, a zucchini. I did, it was about a pound and a half of chicken tenders and a one pound package of Italian ground sausage. Um, one eight ounce block of mozzarella cheese. I am going to shred some fresh Parmesan on top using the microplane fine grater. Yes, Lisa, definitely, definitely putting some Parmesan. And I used one jar of Rayo's margarita um, seasoning and a little bit of Italian seasoning. All of the ingredients for that I purchased at Aldi. So if you don't shop at Aldi, you should try. So it was not an expensive meal at all. I, Chris and I eat keto. This is very keto friendly. There is nothing in this that was not keto, um, but yet the kids will like it as well. I could have done some cheesy garlic bread for the kids. Didn't think about getting that when I went to the store on Tuesday, so they're not gonna have that. You and the other people's comments made my day more fun. Oh, yay, Tammy. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited and it was less than an hour to make it. If I was not on here live with you guys, I would have had that assembled in probably about 20 minutes because it would have been really, really quick to do all that. Um, anyway, I'm going to hop off of here. I'm going to call the family and let them know that dinner is done. Dinner does not have to be complicated. It does not have to be stressful. You don't have to hate the idea of cooking. If you have the right tools, it will make it easier. And um, if there's anything that any of y'all need, by all means, I don't mind um, helping you get those products in your kitchen. But at the same time, when I do these lives, I don't want you guys thinking it's all about trying to sell you the products. If there are products that will help you, then yes, I want to help you and that helps my small business, but really I just wanna give you guys ideas of what to eat. I am running a Feeding America fundraiser, so if by chance there are any products you need, private message me and I'll send you the link to that. I just saw on Fox News earlier today, the 200 Feeding America food banks across the country are all very, very um, stretched thin trying to serve the people they need to serve. Pampered Chef has doubled the donation that they are making to the Feeding America Food Bank, so it is 
off of every dollar that you spend and I am donating my commission from that fundraiser. So if there's anything I can do for you guys, let me know. But if nothing else, I hope I've put a smile on your face today. Um, made your Thursday a little bit better. I know you have made mine better. Hey, Ramona, your daughter's on here. Love both of y'all. Um, you guys have made my day brighter and we will see you probably in a couple days with another either meal time or maybe even a snack that I might make. Love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Um, be nice to those that are in your family. If you see people when you are out doing the necessary things like the grocery store, smile and make someone stay brighter. Love you guys. Bye.